And now we're at the last jersey of Euro 2012 that is, yeah, it's not even necessarily my collection, but I keep it there. And I got it at the same time from World Soccer Store as the Dutch away jersey, but it's not for me. It's my wife's and it's the Spain jersey. Um, I wanted my wife to get a jersey and we looked at a few and she liked Spain best. She thought the color looked nice. Of course, when she got it, the red shade of red was not exactly hers. But yeah, the winning jersey in the women's version. I actually like this one. And I would, now that I have a few Spain jerseys, I would like to have this one in a men's. It's very hard to get by. It's actually the only one that we have jointly together my wife has two jerseys and yeah she's not nearly wearing them as often as i do <laughs> i think she wore this twice and the other one she wore a, a little bit bit more often but no, also not that much but it's the only one that has the start of the spain jerseys that i own but i think this is in a way the last good looking spain jersey um the last one, there was always something missing. This one looks over okay. The only thing I don't like is this weird sliver in navy that goes way more to the back than to, to the front. That doesn't make too much sense to me. Um, it makes sense in terms of color, but other than that, uh, not so much. I like that they used the yellow here. Um, also here, the yellow outline kind of making a Spanish flag. If it would have been a little bit wider, this would be a true Spanish flag, so that was an improvement. And of course we have the full color crest, which is always a good thing to see. But the if you thought there is no Spanish flag, well, in reality there isn't, but do you see those two stripes here? It drove it for the longest time nuts. Why only two? This is an Adidas shirt, it should be three. And back then it had this diagonal pattern. Most editors, other Adidas shirt had such a diagonal pattern, most notably Germany home, which had kind of three lines in the German flag. And I always thought, shouldn't there be three? And then it clicked. This should be the Spanish flag. Of course, if this was in yellow, it would be more apparent, but maybe because of the yellow star, they didn't do it. I actually wonder how this would look if they would have this in yellow. Um, might be interesting, but I, I, once I got it, I thought it's a nice touch. It's a little bit weird execution, but yeah, once you get it, it's a Spanish flag, you get it. They had actually quite a nice numbering style. This was also the first time that a Spain shirt featured inscription here, of course, they have Capiones de Europa, 64, 2008, and they became champions in that one again, so 2012, add to that. and. In the end, here is the clue. Spanish flag slanted, and in this we have Real Federación Española de Football. Um, really, that this I liked. I think Milan, the Milan jerseys around the time had a similar pattern. This I really like the way they do it here. It doesn't actually bother me, it doesn't intrude, it just adds this special something. Spain at the tournament. Played for the most time kind of boring tiki taka, especially in knockout stages, and then they let it loose against Italy, where I think the 4 0 scoreline was a little bit higher than it should have been. But yeah, overall, nice shirt. Idiot that I am, I've worn this one too. It looks ridiculous on me, of course, because there's way too much cleavage with this wide opening. The men's, of course, is much tighter. So yeah, um, and you. Yeah. It looks super tight on me. <laughs> I have only worn it at home, not in public, because that would be just weird. Yeah, but I needed to try that one and my daughter's got a good laugh out of it. Well, let me know what you think about this one in general, whether it's women or men's, whether you have any memories with this one. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I hope that tomorrow I can give you another video that is maybe not of my collection, but maybe something else. We'll see. I have to think about it. Talk to you soon. Good night. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.